Hello everyone. Hope you all are safe and fine at your home. Welcome back to our maths class. In the previous class, we had studied the subtraction of four digit numbers with not regrouping. Today we are moving on to the subtraction of four digit numbers with regrouping. Okay. So we are given two numbers 8431 and 2526. We have to subtract these numbers. For that, first we can arrange it vertically in the place value chart. Both are four digit numbers. So it has four places. Thousands please. Hundreds please. Tens please. And ones please. Okay. So first we have to write the bigger number first. So it is 8431. And then 2526. And also we have to write the symbol of subtraction. Symbol of subtraction as minus. Minus symbol. So now we have to subtract these two numbers. And always the subtraction starts from ones please. Okay. So now the digits in ones please are 1 and 6. So, 1 is less than 6. So, is the subtraction possible here? We have studied that we can't subtract a bigger number from a smaller number. So, here 1 is less than 6. So, the subtraction is not possible here. So, what we have to do is, we have to borrow 1 from the next place. So, in the next place, that is in the tens place, the digit is 3. So, we can borrow 1 from 3 and make this one bigger okay so on borrowing one from three three will be changed to two taking away one from here the three will be changed to two and this one in one's place will be changed to 11 so here the one will become 11 and this three will be changed to two okay now in one's place it's 11 minus six 11 minus 6 is possible. We can easily take away 6 from 11. And it is. When taking away 6 from 11. We will get 5. Okay. So 6 minus. 11 minus 6 gives 5. Okay. Now moving on to the tens please. In tens please. Initially it was 3. And it has reduced to 2. So now the digits are 2 and 2. So 2 minus 2. We will get 0. So it is. 0 here. Okay. Now in hundreds please. It's 4 minus 5. Hundreds please. It's 4 minus 5. 4 is less than 5. So we can't do the subtraction. So we have to borrow 1 from the next place. Next is thousands please. So we have to borrow 1 from the thousands please. And borrowing 1 from thousands please. This 8 will be reduced to 7. We are taking away 1 from here and this 8 will become 7 and this 4 in hundreds please will be changed to 14. Will be changed to 14. Now in hundreds please it's 14 minus 5. We can easily take away 5 from 14 and taking away 5 from 14 we will get 9. So it is 9 here. And in thousands please it's 7 minus 2 now. So, 7 minus 2 is 5. So, our final answer is 5905. And we had said that the answer that we get in subtraction is called the difference. So, here the difference is 5905. Okay. Moving on to our next question. It is to subtract 9000 and 3361. Okay. So, for that we have arranged in the place value chart. And starting from the ones please, in ones please, the digits are 0 minus 1. 0 is less than 1, so we can't subtract 1 from 0. So what we have to do, we have to borrow from the next place. But look, in tens please also, the digit is 0, nothing is there. So there is nothing to take away from here. So we can't borrow from here. And also in hundreds please, also the digit is 0. So... Nothing is there to borrow. So, we have to move to our next place. To the thousands please. So, in thousands please. It's nine in thousands please. So, we can borrow one from this nine. Okay. So, on borrowing this one from nine. Nine will be changed to eight. And 
here the hundreds please digit here the zero in hundreds please will be changed to 10. Now in hundreds please we have got 10 and we can borrow 1 from this 10 to make the zero in tens please bigger. So on borrowing 1 from this 10 here this 10 will be reduced to 2 9 and then this 0 in tens please will be changed to 10. Okay so here here after borrowing the 0 becomes 10 and again we are borrowing 1 from this 10 and this 10 be reduced to 9 and here the 0 in tens please change to 10 okay now again we need uh, we need to borrow 1 to make the 0 bigger right so we have to borrow 1 from this 10 and then we can make the 0 in ones please bigger so on borrowing 1 from the tens please here the 10 is reduced to 9 and the 0 in ones please is changed to 10 okay so now look at the digits in ones please it is 10 and 1 and in tens please it's 9 and 6 in hundreds please it's 9 and 3 and in thousands please it's 8 and 3. So we can do the subtraction starting from the ones please. It's 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1 is possible. We can take away 1 from 10 and taking away 1 we will get 9. Okay and in tens please it's 9 minus 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. Taking away 6 from 9 it will become 3. And in hundreds, please, it's 9 minus 3. Taking away 3 from 9, it is 6. Okay. And in thousands, please, it's 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 is 5. Taking away 3 from 8, we will get 5. So, we got the final answer. That is, we got the difference. And it is 5,639. Moving on to our next question. Here, what we have to do is, we are given two numbers and we have to find out which number is the greater number and also by how much it is greater than the other. Okay, so the question is, which number is greater and by how much and we are given two numbers. The numbers are 6,492 and 6,231. Okay, so first we can find out which number is the greater one. So, we all know how to find the greater number. We had studied it earlier, right? In the first chapter, we had studied it how to find the greater number. So, both are four digit numbers. And what we have to do to compare the numbers? First, we have to compare the digits in thousands, please. Thousands, please. For both the numbers, it is six in thousands, please. Right. So, moving on to the next, please. In the hundreds, please. It's four and two. So, which is the biggest digit? 4 is the greatest digit. So, which number is the greater one? 6,492 is greater than 6,231. Right. So, we have found which number is the greater number. And one more thing we have to find by how much? By how much 6,492 is greater than 6,231. Okay. So, to find that, what we have to do? We have to do subtraction. We have to subtract these two numbers to get the answer for that. Okay. So, shall we do the subtraction? So, for doing the subtraction, we are writing it vertically in the place value chart. It has got four places. And always, we have to write the greater number first, right? So, we can write 6,492. Minus 6,231. Okay. And on subtracting it. Let's look what we will get. In 1's place the digits are 2 and 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. And in 10's place it's 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3. Taking away 3 from 9. What we will get? Taking away 3 from 9. It is. 6. 9 minus 3 we will get 6. 
and in hundreds please it's 4 and 2 4 minus 2 taking away 2 from 4 what we will get taking away 2 from 4 it is 2 itself and in thousands please it's 6 minus 6 6 minus 6 is 0 so we got the final answer and we know that a number starting with 0 does not make any value so this becomes a 3 digit number and this number is 261 so we have seen that in this question 6492 is greater than 6231 by 261 okay so now let's move on to one more problem and here also we are given two numbers and we have to find which number is the greater number and also by how much okay so first we shall find which is the greater one which is the greater one both are four digit numbers the first number is 4444 and the second one is 4244 which is the bigger number comparing the digits in thousands please here in thousands please it's four and so moving on to the next please in the hundreds please it is four and two so four is the greater digit so 4444 is greater than 4244 okay so we have find the greater number and we have to find by how much 4444 is greater than 4244 okay so to find that we have to subtract these two and on subtracting what we will get we shall find out what we will get on subtracting and for that we have written it in our place value chart vertically okay so always the greater number we have to write first always for subtraction the greater number have to be written first and so we have written 4444 minus 4244 okay so starting from the ones please it's 4 minus 4 in ones please it's 4 minus 4 4 minus 4 is taking away 4 from 4 it is 0 and in tens please again it is 4 minus 4 4 minus 4 again it gains 0 and in hundreds please it's 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 is taking away 2 from 4 what we will get taking away 2 from 4 it means 2 and in thousands please again it's 4 minus 4 taking away 4 from from 4 we will get 0 so we got the difference as 200 we you know that when a number starts with 0, the 0 does not have any value. So, it forms a 3 digit number and it is 200. So, so 4444 is greater than 4244 by 200. Okay. Today in this class, we study the subtraction of 4 digit numbers with regrouping. So, hope you all understood the class. Until then, we meet for the next time. Be safe at home. Thank you.